So have you ever had a hot chocolate lava cake? Yes, isn't that yummy? So you must have observed that while slicing the cake into two halves, you see the molten hot chocolate coming out as a lava. Now what exactly is a lava? Well, to let you know, lava is a geological term, right? And it is usually associated with the earth. Yes. Just like the lava oozing out of the choco lava cake, similarly, the magma that is at the core of the earth comes out as lava on the surface, right? As you can see, it is very, very hot. So it was believed that millions of years ago, during the formation of the earth, the earth was very, very hot. It was hot to a point that most of it consisted of the magma, right? So you must have noticed that keeping a cup of hot milk will eventually lead to the formation of a creamy layer on the top, right? This happens when you let it cool for some time. A similar thing has happened to the earth. So when the earth was very, very hot at the beginning, it took millions of years for the earth to cool down. And as it cooled down, the upper surface or the topmost layer of the earth cooled faster than the inner layers. And that led to the formation of the crust. Therefore, the crust is the uppermost layer of the earth that is solidified after cooling, while the inner layers are still not completely solidified. And the innermost part is still very hot and we find the liquid magma there. Therefore, now we know that it took our planet over millions of years to finally cool down, thus forming the Earth's different layers. Namely, the crust, that is the topmost layer, followed by the mantle and lastly the core, right? So these are the three most important layers of the Earth. Or we could also say that these form the structure of the Earth. We must also remember that the core, that is the innermost layer of the earth, is further divided into the inner core and the outer core, as you can see. So talking about the topmost layer or the uppermost layer of the earth, that is the crust. It is not uniformly thick at all places. So we know that while we are talking of the crust, it is both oceanic crust and continental crust. Now what do we mean by oceanic crust and continental crust? We know that the earth's surface comprises of one fourth land while the other parts are covered with water bodies, right? So the earth's crust that falls right below the seabed or the oceanic bed is called the oceanic crust as you can see here. While the rest of the crust that falls beneath the continents and all the land masses is known as the continental crust, right? And so we know that it is not uniform at all places. We must remember that the earth's crust is nearly 8 kilometers thick from the seabed while it is 40 kilometers below the land masses or below the continents. So today in this video we learn that the earth was very very hot at the beginning and it took millions of years for the earth to finally cool down. So just like any other hot liquid like a cup of hot milk, there's a creamy layer that forms on the top of the hot liquid. Thus, a similar thing has happened to the earth. The uppermost layers of the earth have cooled faster than the inner layers, forming the crust of the earth. And we have learnt that the crust of the earth is not uniform at all places, right? We have the oceanic crust that is right below the water bodies and we have the continental crust that is right below the land masses. We have also learned that just like the hot liquids, the inner layers are still very hot and have not been solidified. So in the next video, we learn more about the crust and all the other things that are happening on the crust and how the crust has changed its shape and nature over the years.
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.